What do you think looks better, without or with? Usually I do it with, but um, feeling kind of badass today, so let's do it without. <laughs> okay, welcome to this video. If you're using Streamlabs OBS and you're streaming with one monitor, then you definitely need to know about this trick. The times of using your phone to put it in front of you and read chat out of it or get another laptop, those times are gone. You can just put your stream of OBS chat on your screen, like you see right here next to me. It will look the same in game. By the way, I was looking at my second screen and apparently I still had these in, so yeah professionalism. Now before showing you how to set up this awesome trick in Streamlabs OBS, I quickly want to mention the sponsor of this video which is Own.TV. They sell professional graphics for streamers and on the top left you can go to overlays and then to complete packages. This will give you a big amount of complete streaming packs and when you click on one of them, for example this row down right here, you will see a preview video which you can watch to get a feel of what the pack actually looks like or you can scroll down and here they have a complete preview widget so you can click on offline banner and then you will see what it looks like. You can click on animated talking banner and there you go. This is your intermission screen or your talking screen. When you click on new donation, I will see what a donation actually looks like. Same with the scene transition. This is an amazing widget. And on the top left, you can also find other things. For example, emotes and badges, badge maker, emote maker. You can make your own ones or you can just look for sub badges. And then you will see that they have a huge library of badges. Same with emotes. The link to their website will be in my description. And my code TVN gives you 50% of the price. If you want a new graphics spec for your stream, then Onto TV is an amazing choice. Again, the link is in my description. Go check them out. Now to get back to the video, streaming with one monitor is pretty hard, right? You have a lot of things you have to keep track of. People tell you that when someone comes in your chat, you need to react to them immediately. But when you're gaming, you can't see your chat. So then you try to take your phone and put your chat on that. But then you also want to use your phone for other stuff. So that also gives a problem. But luckily Streamlabs OBS allows you to put your chat and also your recent events on so new followers, new alerts, donations and stuff like that. They allow you to put that on top of your game. So then when you're gaming, you can put it in a corner and then you can keep track of everything without needing a second screen or a phone or a tablet or anything else in front of you. And by the way, talking about something to use your phone for, in the next coming days, I'm gonna release a new video that allows you to use your phone as a stream deck for controlling Streamlabs OBS. Now, of course, the features aren't as advanced as the one you get with the stream deck, but it allows you to use your phone for controlling your stream in terms of switching scenes, disabling your microphone, disabling certain overlays, adding something to the screen, removing it afterwards, changing your volume, stuff like that. So actually the basic stuff that you would want when streaming and also the basic stuff that's very useful when streaming with one monitor, those things you can do with your phone with Streamers OBS. So if you're not subscribed yet, I suggest you subscribe so you don't miss that video. And if you are subscribed, then thank you so much for the support and you will get a pop-up of that video in the next coming days. Now let's go to Streamlabs OBS and the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are logged in with an account because you aren't logged in then Streamlabs OBS actually has no chat to put on top of your game so because of that the game overlay function will not work. So right here you see game overlay let's click on that and you will be able to enable it when you are logged in. So let's enable it right now. I'm logged in on a dummy account so I can show you everything right now. And then right here, you can see show chat. You can disable or enable that. And then here you see show recent events. And as this right here, the mini feed, this will be recent events. As you see something like the video nerd has followed. I just followed this dummy account because this is an important thing. When you're done setting this up later in the video, you will see that your recent event feed will probably be just a black box. Now, if you already have some recent events right here, then it won't be. But if this right here is empty, then the recent event feed on top of your game will probably be black. So just make a new Twitch account and follow it to test or ask a friend to follow your account. That way you have something right here and you don't encounter that problem. And then right here, you will see toggle positioning mode. When you enable this, you will see that you get your recent events and your chat and you can choose the position on your screen. But we're not going to do it this way. We want to do it in game. That's much better. So let's disable this right here and then click on done. 
and right now I'm gonna start my game. So there we go, let me quickly go into a practice range match and then I'll show you the problem you're going to encounter. So now I'm in game, right? But you don't see your chat or your recent events or anything, even though I enabled it into Streamlabs OBS. Let's all tab out and go to the settings again and then to game overlay. And as you see, it's enabled, but we're not seeing it in game. Now, the reason for that is something you can find right here on the bottom. And they are saying this overlay may not work with certain games running in exclusive full screen mode. For best results, we recommend running your game in windowed full screen. So let's go back to Overwatch and let's go to the settings. And as you see in the video settings, we are in full screen mode and you want to change it to borderless windowed if that's an option. Now, I hope for you that this is an option. And if it isn't, you will have to be lucky that it actually works with your game. Now, another thing you can also do is put it in windowed, click on apply, and then just try to make it full screen that way and play like this with a little bar on top. But I'm going to change it to borderless windowed right now and then click on apply. Now, let's click on escape. And there we go. Now, we're still not seeing it. Trust me, I'm not trying to troll you right here. I'm just trying to show you every problem you might encounter during this setup. So right now we are in borderless windowed or it might be windowed full screen in your game. That depends. But let's go back to Streamlabs OBS right now and go back to the settings because right now we need to be able to enable it in our game. Now let's go to hotkeys on the left and then scroll a bit down and then right here you will see toggle overlay positioning mode and then toggle in game overlay. Now you want to choose two keybinds right here. I'm going to choose F9 and then F10 and I'm going to show you another problem. Now let's click on done. Let's go to overwatch again. Let's click on escape. I'm going to click on F9. And as you see right now, I am seeing my stream chat on the screen, but I'm not seeing my recent events. It's a black box. Now, from the moment that I would get a new recent event, that black box right there, I'm pointing. But of course, you can't see it, but I'll put an arrow on the screen. The black box that you see right there will be recent followers, recent donations. And from the moment you get one, it will change into a real recent events box. Now, the other problem I was talking about is that right now I want to change the position of this chat and I set the keybind to F10, but when I click on it, nothing actually happens. It disappears because it's going into another mode, but I can't see it on top of Overwatch. And this depends on the game you're playing. For example, if I'm playing World of Warcraft, I can just press F10, it goes into positioning mode, I can just reposition, press F10 again, it disappears, and then everything is set. But apparently in Overwatch it isn't possible, so I'm gonna show you how to do it if it isn't possible in your game. And it's pretty simple, you just alt tab out, you go to stream as OBS or to your desktop, you press F9, and then you will see the same ones on top of your desktop right now when you press f10 you will go into positioning mode and then you can just drag them around so for example if you don't want this to block your vision in the game you can put your chat completely on the top left and then put your recent events right there just next to it this will depend on the type of game you're playing if your game has information on the top left you don't want to put it there but for example in world of warcraft your mini map is on the right but on the top left there isn't really any information so i can just put it right there so then you press f10 again it disappears and right now you can press f9 and then when i click on overwatch you will see that it's on top of my game now because i'm recording and my screen is a wide screen and i'm doing all kinds of weird stuff with my resolutions to make this work for recording so you see that it's kind of on the black bar right there but if i would just reposition it let me do it really quick like this there we go and then we would go to overwatch then you will see that it's actually on top of my game now let me quickly give this account a follow so you can see the recent events okay so i've got the channel ready right here and as you see when i click on follow you will see that this recent events will actually become active i wasn't lying and this way it's just perfect and now a quick little hack if you actually want to change the position on top of your overwatch game you can click on your windows icon and then you can just open streamlabs obs on top of your game when your game is in windowed full screen or windowed mode you will be able to open programs on top of it right so right now i'm actually on my desktop i'm on streamlabs obs i'm not in my game so when i press f10 right now i will actually go into the positioning mode and i will see it on top of my game so right now i can just position it perfectly like this okay then i can press f10 again go back to my game press f9 that's my toggle keybind and there we go 
Now I can perfectly game while seeing my chat and seeing my recent events. This is extremely useful. And as I already said before, if you are streaming with one monitor, you might want to use your phone to control Streamlabs OBS, to switch scenes, to disable your microphone, disable certain sources. You have a lot of options with it. Start streaming, stop streaming, start recording. I'm not going to continue. I'm going to make a video about it in a few days. I will link it in the cards when it's finished. I suggest you subscribe so you don't miss the video. If you have any questions about this or about streaming in general, I stream every week on Twitch. The link is in my description. You can give me a follow so you will get a notification the next time I go live. You can also ask your questions in the YouTube comments. The YouTube algorithm loves engagement on videos like likes and comments. So if you want to do me a favor, just press like under the video and then place a random comment. It can be about anything a lot of people are actually typing random comment or for the algorithm in my comment section i love it it actually helps a lot with the video so i would really appreciate that besides that good luck with your stream thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next one have a nice day. The video nerd made the best audio banana video ever, but I still couldn't manage to get it all working. <laughs> well, was it the best one ever then? But thanks, man.